So during the early days of this channel, we talked about the Indian Grand Prix and what forced the cancellation after 2013. That video went on to be the most watched video that I have ever made and the one that basically launched my YouTube channel. But it's been over nine months and I kind of want to revisit the subject and talk about it a little bit more. I think now it's appropriate to revisit one of my favorites, the Bud International Circuit in India. Forgotten by F1 and an event that had a lot of potential and could have been something special. Make sure you stick around for the end where I'll be reading some of my viewers comments about this situation. So with all that, let's get into it. Let's discuss the racetrack first, one of my personal favourites and one that I'd probably put into the bracket of the top 5 circuits ever designed by Herman Tilka. Located in Greater Noida, Uttar Pradesh, India, the circuit cost nearly $400 million to construct. And the layout and facilities has always been one that sort of stood out to me. With 16 corners, slow ones, fast ones, a long back straight, elevation change, massive grandstands, it was very Tilka-esque. The original plan was for the circuit to be part of the JP Sports City, which would include a golf course, equestrian centre, housing, leisure facilities and a cricket stadium. This grand plan was supposed to be the sporting hub of India, and also somewhere that you could live. As we now know, these plans never really made it to the level that everyone had hoped for. And though the Bud International Circuit is still used from time to time, I feel like it's a facility that was wasted by Formula One and yet another great track that unfortunately fell behind and became a victim to the business. India has a massive Formula One following and the country has a huge population. So why exactly did it fail? Why is it not a staple on the calendar and a race we regularly look forward to? 2011 was the first year Formula One would race at the Bud International Circuit and it would draw in a crowd of roughly 95,000 people. But the following year in 2012, those numbers would drop down to 65,000. This didn't have Bernie Eccleston too worried just yet, explaining that the drop was normal considering the first race was always going to produce massive numbers. Promotion of the event didn't really do it any favours. Due to the price, advertising on television and social media, ticket sales slumped. Marketing for this event was kind of non-existent you could say. One of the big issues was a tax dispute between the government and Formula One. The Uttar Pradesh government claimed that Formula One was not sport, but entertainment, therefore wanting to introduce a tax levy on the event. With that, I guess now you can understand that the government didn't subsidise this particular event, meaning it was up to the organisers and the circuit to pay the $40 million race fee, which is a huge amount of money for any organiser or racetrack. Now, I often think about how this great track is sitting quietly tucked away, and all that remains of Formula One were three consecutive years of racing which we have never returned to since 2013. I can't help but think about the huge grandstands that are empty, the sections of racetrack which I can only imagine the current gen cars driving on, and the day Formula One packed up and never came back. The original plan was that the Indian Grand Prix would have a year off in 2014 and then return in 2015. Now this was until Bernie further suggested that we may not return until 2016. It's now mid 2021 and we haven't gone back. Hypothetically speaking, if we were to return to Bud, a lot would need to change. Ticket prices were far too high, with the cheapest ticket costing about four times more than a ticket to a cricket match. The event did have the potential to create 10,000 jobs and generate around $170 million in revenue, but the big issue was the entertainment tax levy, which Formula One simply would never pay. And of course, the ticket sales. At the time, Formula One's fan base in India wasn't at the level that it is now. So it was really hard to attract casual fans to pay such a high price for a ticket. Truth is, I miss this track. It was a wasted opportunity on various sides, the government and Formula One, both clearly looking at the event from opposing perspectives. But that's enough from me. I put a post on my community page for my Indian fans, my Indian viewers, who would know a lot more about this than I would and could maybe give us sort of a different angle to this whole situation. So I basically asked, why do you think the Grand Prix failed and what is happening with the circuit now? So 
Uh, I got a lot of comments as I'm reading it now. I have gotten 106 comments. Now I cannot obviously read them all because probably this video will go for two hours if I do. So I'm just gonna scroll through, pick some at random. So the first comment is from Aditya Singh who says, I would say that when the Indian Grand Prix started, very few people knew about F1. If the Indian Grand Prix was to start now, it would receive much more support as the F1 following in India has vastly increased over the years. The location of the track was also pretty obscure. No one wanted to travel three to four hours just to reach the track and then sit in a grandstand in scorching Indian heat where temperatures easily reach 39 to 40 degrees Celsius. The whole F1 program didn't receive much support from governments as it does with other venues such as Bahrain and Italy. Jay Sarvan says, hey man, the answers are quite simple to be honest. One, it was too early at the time and the location kind of sucked pretty hard. The audience targeted were rather ready to watch cricket for 10 days straight than sit for a two hour long race day. Number two, the track has been collecting dust with some occasional track events and you can say it was a massive waste of resources that were poured in. Abhinav Dilip says, honestly, I think the Indian Grand Prix would have stayed had the Uttar Pradesh government not classified F1 as entertainment. We have probably still had the Indian Grand Prix at Bud today if it weren't for that. Who knows, had the Grand Prix stayed on, F1 here in India might have been one of the biggest spectacles alongside cricket. About the circuit, the last time I checked, it was being used in a similar way to how the Autodroma Hermanos Rodriguez is being used right now. And also the gates have apparently been shut due to some tax disputes or something against the owners, the JP group. Udai says, number one, the Grand Prix failed because of a low attendance rate. People didn't know anything about F1 and so they weren't attending the Grand Prix, which led to the track falling into debt. Recently, JP Media, the same country who funded the Grand Prix, took over the track and there were some rumors about a possible return if the government is willing to fund it. Even if the track doesn't return to F1, at least it won't be completely abandoned like it was earlier. Shahid Mania says, politics has effed up the whole country, so nothing different for the track as well. Number two, occasionally track events happen, but not much motorsports events take place anymore. Number three, I would definitely love to see the Indian Grand Prix back on the calendar, but it's unlikely to happen anytime soon. Rajith Nambia says, Mainly cost of the ticket is what made it difficult for most of the fans to attend the Indian Grand Prix. Also, those who can afford, I don't think they really were a fan of the sport. So I will leave the community post in the description so you can go check it out. There's a lot of comments in there, a lot of interesting uh, reasons uh, and what's happening with the circuit now. You know, it's assisting with the pandemic. It's also used for track days. Some people even shoot videos there for YouTube and uh, anything, so even I've seen concerts uh, going on there. So it is still being used. It's not totally abandoned, but um, it does still kind of give me an eerie feeling that it's such a big facility that for most of the time is, you know, quiet, um, considering what the original plans were and uh, what's really going on with it now. Uh, it's very different, you know, it's, it's completely different. So it's a very wasted opportunity in my opinion. I think it's a great track. I think it would be a great event. This is just part of Formula One, I guess. Circuits come and go, events, you know, they sometimes don't last forever, unfortunately, but uh, this doesn't necessarily mean this is the end, you know, it could return one day. Who knows? What if it gets funded? What if Formula One has a completely different view on how they host races and how they charge race fees. So you never know. But with that, thank you for your comments. Uh, it made for an interesting read. I did read pretty much all of them. Thank you so much for getting involved. I really appreciate it. It's always good to hear opinions and hear what's going on to the people closest, you know, to that sort of particular subject that I'm talking about. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload and you won't miss a thing. And with all that being said, thank you very much for watching.